All right, people, this is a video on coca leaf preparations. Um, really, it's just a one on uh, coca leaf tea, uh, mate de coca, which is like uh, powdered uh, coca leaf added to tea, um, chewing the um, coca leaves, and also uh, another thing, which I'll, sh I'll show you and I'll explain later. Anyway, the first two things we'll cover is coca leaf tea and coca powder tea. So what we'll need is some nice boiled water. Here's some I prepared earlier, as they say. I better just turn off the stove. Now, where are my two cups? There's one cup, there's two cups. I don't know how well you can see things. You can just see my face. I can see the two cups now. Here we are, red and blue. In the blue one, I'll, well, I'll put, I'll put hot water in both of them. So scalding hot water in both of them. Whoop. Uno, dos. Now, the uh, powder cook loof it's it's not for kids ever. Um, I think I'd say it's just too strong. It's too well absorbed in uh, in the tea. So the part as far as it goes with the um, powdered coca leaf, I would just I would only uh, recommend that really adults uh, have that. I mean, I guess I'd say the same for the coca leaf tea uh, with the actual leaves. But yeah, I, I think a kid could drink it if there wasn't so much in it. So now I'm going to get myself a spoon. I should have uh, prepared one earlier instead of here's one I pre prepared earlier sort of thing, but I didn't because I'm an idiot and that's just how life goes. Right, got me a bloody spoon. Now, if you're making a uh, coca tea that's um, with the coca tea powder, which is in a package here, my recommendation if you just want a, you know, a sort of tea with a little bit of kick but not you know, not too far there, would be to add one spoonful. So, I'll get my little tablespoon here. And just, hold on. Bloody hell, it's quite, it's quite difficult to do, sorry. I know you can't see what I'm doing here, so I'll just stare at you. Actually, I'll film the packet. So here I am with this, and I'll get, this I would consider to be a spoonful, that's fairly tough stuff and we just add it in there and that's you know a sort of mid-level coca rush and then if we add a second one which is what I'll do not as big but you know fairly big there we go we add the second one it's quite a lot in there stir it in nicely nice and green there you see that nice green look. There's a lot of minerals actually in coca in coca leaf and in these powders. In fact I think the main thing that makes you feel so good is probably the minerals because there's not really very much cocaine in coca leaf actually. And then I finished by adding a bit of a bit of honey. I'm not sure if you can see that. There we go, I got a bit of honey. So I usually put about half a spoonful. I'll put a fairly big teaspoonful for this because it's quite strong. We we'll just Put that in there. I stir it in like that. I stir that in because the honey just comes straight off with the heat. And that is what's known as maca de coco. That's prepared now. I can drink that in about five minutes. It's less hot. And then the next one is to prepare an actual tea with the leaves itself, right? So. Now you've got to think who who it's for and how many people it's for. If it's for a child, if they're you know say f four years old, five years old, just put one leaf. In. <laughs> if they're maybe ten or eleven, put two leaves in. Maybe three leaves in if they're you know, well if they're South American, they probably already take off leaf and this is normal. And um, you know don't put any more than that in. I wouldn't I wouldn't really put in fact I wouldn't really put more than two in. Now for an adult, I put a minimum of two just you know to give that very small kick 
I'd probably say three is the minimum you start on and that'll give you a nice sort of little kick but you won't really feel much although I will say um, it seems to be a consensus that the first time you have it, it you know it hits you it can hit you quite quite hard just just for a minute or two um, it hit me quite hard even though I've had actual cocaine before so not sure that that was about but anyway so we'll add our uh, three leaves I guess so how well you can see them I'm trying to do my best one I'm at two three so two big ones and a little one should do nicely and I'll show you I've got so there's two big ones and a little one we'll add that in and that'll be you know, sort of a low level tea for an adult if you want a tougher tea add a couple more uh, you know put yourself five leaves that'll sort of be a mid-level tea so here we go one two five leaves there and then if you want a fairly tough one you want seven or more I'll put in I'll put in three more I'll put in a little one and two big ones so one actually I'll put in four little ones fuck it and this will be quite a strong tea and then, as per usual, I'll finish off with the honey. Oi! Got a bloody fly here. Now, the um, the coca leaf tea that's, you know, actually, the powdered coca leaf tea is ready now. I can drink that. This tea, um, with the actual leaves in, I need to wait for about five to ten minutes for the um, alkaloids to extract from there. Now, the other thing I was saying was um, other uses of the tea. I've already demonstrated this, I believe, uh, oh, the leaves, sorry, I've already demonstrated this in another video. And um, what you want to do, uh, or what you can do, is chew the leaves. Um, they do this a lot in South America in places that are high altitude because it more or less eliminates altitude sickness. And also, you know, there's a lot of minerals in it, so it makes you feel quite nice, not just because of the cocaine and the alkaloids, but the minerals, you know. And you basically, you have them like this, so I've got my leaves up, uh, I'll get some bigger leaves, I'll get some typical example leaves, I guess. So, yeah, there's a leaf like that. I'll get about three or four of these leaves. So I've bundled them up together, and I'm going to, I'm going to sort of split them in half. Not, not split them, but sort of bundle them together like this and then you chew you chew round and round if you like and that's how you chew coca leaves you chew them until they turn to an extremely loose fibre mass or sort of green fibre and you just spit them out this is a more effective way to um do the cocoa leaf first time. But there's one other use of cocoa leaf that I've yet to mention. Let's see that very quickly. Goes from being a leafy material to this sort of sort of paste material. I'm very to it if I it gets the paste. Mm. You lose some in your mouth. You won't ever get it all out if you chew it like this. But then there's another. There's one other way in which um, one can use these coca leaves. So let's imagine you've got a headache or a pain in the body. Now, what the people do who you know the South Americans do with these coca leaves to sort of cure a lot of aches and pains is see how see how this leaf is perfect. Well, actually, it's got two holes in it, so this is good to go. What they do is they bite it a little bit. They don't they don't chew it up. Yeah. make a few sort of incisions. See how there's more incisions now? And imagine we've got a headache. What they do, is they lick it. They put it on their head. Let's say they've got a headache around here. We, we probably do three, so that's number one. Here. Number two.
number three. And this, um, you know, I don't know how it works uh, because I'm not a doctor, but I know it does work because I've done this myself. And um, yeah, it must be releasing something. I mean, it, it could be entirely, oh, what's the word? I've forgotten the bloody word for it. When you think it's working, but it's actually not, but because you think it's working, uh, it seems to have an effect. It could be entirely that, but I don't think it is. I think it actually works. So yeah, there's a few uses for coca leaf. Um, there's one more use for coca leaf, um, which is extraction of uh, its alkaloids, but I won't get into that uh, because I think that would be an illegal video to make. And um, yeah, that's not really my thing to show people, chemical extractions either, so yeah. Anyways, I might finish my teas. They're both pretty fucking strong, so I'm gonna feel weird. Oh, look, look here. I'm not sure if you can see, but that's the actual water, and the actual water itself has gone kind of green. If I stir this about every couple of minutes or so, you know, I can wait 20 minutes, that's fine. You know, get as much alkaloid out as I want. It'll slowly get greener and greener. And if you look at this, it's it looks dark in the camera, but it's actually just really dark green. And yeah, I think I'll drink my teas today. Yeah. I'll probably have them both at once, to be honest. And uh, enjoy them. Mm. <sighs> Whoa, that's nice and strong. Anyways, that was my video on um, coca leaf and coca leaf preparation. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and perhaps I'll see you again. Bye.